Hi, welcome to Finite Element Analysis with MATLAB and ANSYS for Beam Structure. My name is Kong. I am currently postdoctoral research associate at the University of Strathclyde. I obtained my PhD in naval architecture, marine and engineering uh, at the University of Strathclyde. Uh, during my study and works, I conduct a lot of finite element analysis by writing my FAM code and also running uh, ANSYS simulations. So in this call, I just want to transfer a little bit my little knowledge about finite element analysis for beam structure. Uh, so if you already know, I already run the first call I call it is finite element analysis with MATLAB and ANSYS. And in that course, I already showed you how to uh, write FAM code for 1D, 2D, and 3D just elements, and how to write FAM code for 2D plate elements, and how to write FAM code for 3D solids uh, elements. So in this course, that is actually the second uh, course in my uh, series of finite element analysis with MATLAB analysis. It is about beam structure. Uh, because as you may know that in practice we have many many uh, type of structure that very long but the cross section of them is very small compared with the length of them it is very difficult for us to use 3d solid structure to investigate that kind of, of, of the huge structure because they are very long and we will face with the difficulty in terms of uh, computational cost so in practice people already develop beam formulations and in finite element package almost every commercial software we know that we already have beam elements and beam structure so in this course i will exactly want to deliver the formation of beam structure and to show you how to deal with complex 3d beam structure and to uh, analyze uh, some of them and here is what we will learn the first thing we have to learn is key formulations. Although I would say that the theory is way boring, but we cannot avoid it because in this course, you know that you not only learning ANSYS, you also learn how to write FAM code. So key formulation is very important and you need to know before go to write FAM code, right? To avoid some boring stuff, I just provide key formation for beam structure here and I provide in 3D beams and also I also show you what is the formation to deal with complex 3D beam structure and of course uh, we will step by step learn together how to write FAM codes in MATLAB for different beam structure from very simple beam and to very complex beam structure we will step by step uh, learn how to write FANSYS input file for different beam structure why I said ANSYS input file here because in this course I will use ANSYS APDL. So uh, the best way of using ANSYS APDL is learn how to write ANSYS input files. And then from ANSYS input file to run the analysis, you just have to run the ANSYS input file here rather than using graphic user interface by click you know, the button, uh, that button or this button. It's very boring and waste time. And you will learn how to deal with very complex beam structure in ANSYS and also in your FAM code. You also learn how to extract the result from FAM code and ANSYS to make comparison to verify your result, verify your knowledge and formulation. And finally, I will also show you how to make the professional plot. I also provide you some uh, functions I already developed for plotting techniques like commercial software often do. So the first thing I call it project number zero. Uh, we will learn the formations for for single beam to practice and to check the formation. We will try to write FAM code for very simple example of single beam subjected to some anode here, and then we will try to uh, verify our uh, FAM code result. And next, we will learn how to deal with complex beam structure. I mean, the, in terms of formulation and theories, and to verify that kind of uh, formulation, we will try to do very first example of an L frame uh, subjected to some loading here, and again we also try to verify our result with ANSYS. And after that, we will go to the project number one here. I call it the 2D roof structure, 
in there we will conduct ANSYS uh, and we will write FAM code and make comparison between them uh, after that we will go to the project number 2 3D group structure and in there uh, we will learn how to write FAM code in MATLAB you also learn how to write ANSYS input file and run simulation in ANSYS and make comparison between them and the next project is project number 3 uh, we will go to investigate a 60 meter high building like in the left figure here and the building will subjected to some kind of wind load or pressure load on some certain areas and you also learn how to write ANSYS input file you also learn how to write FAM code and make comparison between two analysis and the project number four is we will go to investigate 3D mat high offshore circuit platform uh, so in left here and again uh, learn how to write ANSYS input file in ANSYS and run ANSYS simulations and learn how to write ATLAB M code and make comparison between two simulations and the next project is project number five 2D lattice structure uh, in this project we will investigate a, a lattice structure like in the left hand side here and we will see and capture very interesting behavior of that lattice structure people call the, uh, it is negative Poisson ratio structure so that uh, lattice structure will behavior like when we tension them in the y direction it will get bigger and you will learn how to write FAM code and you will learn how to write ANSYS input file uh, for that kind of structure as you can see when we tension okay it get bigger and when we compress it gets smaller so it is opposite with the normal uh, Poisson ratio structure and the project number six is 3d lattice structure so in the figure here and for that project I decide to give that is an exercise for you to practice uh, to verify your knowledge, verify your understanding, and verify your FAM codes. And if you can develop successfully this project and send it to me, I will be very happy to check and give feedback to you. And the project number seven, so because we uh, just analyze the structure, the deformation, uh, displacement, and rotations, so we need to know how to calculate chain and stress in beam structure. So that is the project number seven deliver that kind of information here. So we will investigate, come back to investigate very simple structure, a beam structure like this and to the roof structure. And through these two projects here, you will learn how to attract the ANSYS result about stress and strain. And you also learn how to write FAM code to attract stress and strain in MATLAB and make comparison between the two calculations. So about uh, throughout the course uh, what the skills you will obtain the first skill is how to create fam model inside matlab and how to import mesh from ansys into matlab okay how to calculate steep matrix for different 3d beam structure and how to apply boundary conditions how to apply loading conditions and how to solve the equation equilibrium equations to obtain this treatment view rotation view for the beam structure and how to process your FEA result to check the this treatment and rotation uh, from ANSYS and from MATLAB code and how to calculate stress and strain and when you practice ANSYS also uh, what you will learn is you will learn how to import the external geometry file I just into ANSYS so throughout the course you will see that I will provide you a IGS file for different structures and you will learn how to import them into ANSYS for your final element analysis and how to write ANSYS input files for uh, on the project or different beam structure and understand the meanings of every single commands we write in ANSYS input files and of course, how to check, check the result uh, from ANSYS, how to process the ANSYS result. So right now, uh, that is all the contents of the course. If you have any question regarding to the course or even beyond the course, 
please feel free to contact me. I will be very happy to answer as soon as possible. Thank you very much and welcome to my course again.